Hello and welcome to Deck of Ashes. I am Alan Enraged. Let's get started. We're going to continue our game. We beat the first chapter. Yeah, chapter two. So it's pretty nice. We're heading to the swamp. I want to remember what it does. Draw two random cards. Kind of useful. We have Ash. We don't have any way to discard our current Cindering Ring, so we need to to make sure to do that. We can buy a trait. But we can only have one active. We don't have the ability to upgrade there. Nor there. Nor there. Nor there. All right. Let's get going. We have plenty of keys. So I think I'd like to hit here, 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 here. And see where that leaves us. Something among your items crunches unpleasantly. Looks like the herbalist packed, packed you for the journey with care. I emphasized the wrong word there. Character's speed is increased by one. That sounds good. I'm gonna unlock this. Ten gold. And a recipe. We're looking for something that says discard. We'll grab the piercing fire recipe and a mana potion. And we're going to mine. We'll hit take on this fight. My fire will carry you to the afterlife. It's going to reduce our speed. We'd like to save this for next turn. I do not want to strain here. Did not dispel that effect like I thought it would. In all actuality, we should have thrown that to the bottom as well. It's two mana, four damage. Not worth it. This is quite a bit of damage. We'll just follow it up with... Torch. I still don't see the point in straining here, but we'll do it just to get ahead. We're just going to draw them anyway, more than likely. And we'll 
kill him next turn. Since we're going to kill him, let's double check that we are going to kill him. I want to strain here to gain all my cards back. Renew all of our cards and then use the Phoenix to finish him off. That way we can heal up and potentially craft. I would like another regen. Oh, and this is what we wanted. Don't have any more points. Well, mine. Then we're gonna take check out this chest. Ooh. We already have a way to detonate a pyre bomb that costs three. If we didn't, I'd like that a lot. This is not good, dealing 30 damage to ourselves to renew it just a couple cards. And I would like this Black Grimoire page. I don't know what the Black Grimoire is, but uh, if you have to get five of these to get it, uh, count me intrigued. Ooh. The dodge chance of all ghosts is reduced to zero. I'm going to take that. Um. I'll check out this hard fight. If we could take on a boss, we should be able to take on a hard fight pretty easily. Maybe not easily. He's got quite a bit of health. We're going to set up regen probably, but let's look at other cards. We're going to Cindering Ring. Apply three burns. Set up regen. Next turn we'll use the Liquid Fire. And then we should be having quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit. Yeah, we have quite a bit of damage over time. Eighteen damage for one mana is pretty effective. Like I thought, this fight was pretty much nothing we needed to worry about.
He should die from the fire here. We only have a little bit of the cards that we need to renew. Oh man, this is permanent. Not if we keep it in there, eh? Get our resources, check out an event. A peculiar atmosphere permeates this place. You feel strength surging through your body. But surely, it can't be all that simple, can it? Listen to your intuition. You return one card more in the next three battles. The level of all infester monsters is increased by two for the next eight hours. I'm glad, I'm glad I uh, fought that guy before hitting that. It is not the first time you decide to try something new. You don't need the blacksmith's help to craft items. The important thing is not to spoil anything. Nothing happened. Sometimes playing it safe does not pay off. On your path, you suddenly meet the merchant, who clearly always keeps his stock replenished. What an opportune time to trade. Sure. So two mana, we can apply more burn. Is that good? Depends on how um how we can upgrade it, I guess. I would like to apply more pyro bombs. Check out your upgrades. Oh no, you can only buy. I'll check and make. It's only 20 gold for the recipe. Ashstorm has created anomalies. Quick, draw on their power before they disappear. Phoenix, strain, deal damage to an opponent. I don't really like the strain cards. Oh man, that was a mistake. Well, whatever this is. Is probably what we're gonna go to. This ignition has got to be good at some point. I mean, I could get a lot of cards in in my deck of ashes eventually. Right in the middle of the road, just a few steps in front of you, you suddenly find a chest. At first, it seemed to be nothing more than a pile of rocks, but now your eyes can no longer deceive you. It's definitely a chest. Hey! Nice. The luxurious chest transforms into a pile of gold coins in the middle of the road. The being that tempted you with this false treasure now shows its true face. The form of reality warps before your very eyes, melting in midair, and the entire area around you quivers from its influence. You no longer have any idea whether the blurry shape before you is someone's remains or a pile of dirt. The creature ripples again along with its surroundings and attacks. I guess it was a mimic. So hot right now. Too hot for oh, you. Oh, why is there two of them? Um. If you have a feeling, I cannot get rid of that. Nice. No, I'll keep both of these. Nice. So 
to the bottom of the deck. One of those. We need to start upgrading our fireballs. Or removing them, even. We're doing quite a bit of damage. Alright, we're pretty much going to kill him this next turn. So let's strain. Just a warm up. Um, I want this back. I want this back. This. How do I get rid of these ailments? I do not have enough ash. Downsides of using your ash. Drats. We have two keys, we'll head this way. The herbs on the ground are incredibly similar to those you usually get from the herbalist. Will they make your life easier? Worth the risk. I don't know how to use the tent, but uh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 gotcha. I'm not an idiot, I swear. This card is awesome. Do I want a portal? Where would I portal to? Don't have keys for that. Can move this way. Just the opposite side. I think I want to check out this dungeon. Maybe both the dungeons in order. Oh. Heroic. Yeah. <laughs> what could go wrong? That was horrible. <gasps> Let's check out this fight, see what happens. You'll burn like I burn. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Um I like both of these guards. Oh, hello. I don't think I have a negative effect on me. Let's 
It's not how I wanted that to go. I do want to get rid of... What is up with all these enemies? I could have played that smarter. Two mana points doesn't do anything for us here. Drawing cards doesn't do anything for us here. It's probably too late to increase our strength. Alrighty. I don't think we're gonna take on the um My flames cannot be extinguished. Alright, we're dead. Alright. Well, that's why you don't do a heroic dungeon. Okay. Enemies killed. We got quite a bit of these points things. An opponent deal additional one damage for any card played card. The effect lasts until the end of the battle. You receive a 20% chance to renew a random card at the end of your turn. The effect lasts until the end of battle. Alright, we'll unlock that one. Oh, and there's another one behind it. Grant the Phantom a skill. The Phantom applies three poison effects on each opponent and three poison effects on itself. Ooh, nice. Synergy. Alright, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment at the bottom. You can also follow me on Twitch, where I usually stream with my friends on Friday. I'll see you next time.